Okay, welcome back to another video by uh, Drum Magazine. My name is Mark Carmi Smith, and this issue, uh, for the November issue, we'll be talking about Danny Gottlieb's article called Sassy Study. Uh, in this article, he describes uh, for young drummers trying to get their groove together, their triplet together, um, that they should listen to Cats That Scat. Uh, and he does mention uh, a couple of Sarah Vaughn tracks here with the Count Basie Orchestra. Um, and he has written some of these out for us, uh, and we'll talk about some of the syllables and things he uses in a bit. Uh, let's also remember that Sarah Vaughn and other uh, people who scat for a living uh, are pitch aware. Um, as drummers, we don't need to be particularly scale aware, but we should be at least uh, a relative pitch when we're looking at uh, melodies. Uh, a lot of the drum beats we do, we're just doing high and low for bass drum, hi-hat, snare drum, that sort of thing. But be aware that uh, scales are very important, and uh, if you do have time, dig into those. Okay, many of us uh, began our study, drummers began our study, uh, using method books where we used the numbers and then moved on to the ands, the es, and the us. And we still use, use these to uh, communicate passages today. Um, there are also rudiments um, that lend themselves to scatting. Uh, a couple of uh, ratamacue, a paradiddle, flam tap, um, and you can use these uh, as a form of scatting if you like. We're going to do a couple of examples of how rudiments can be used in scatting. The first one we're going to look at is a paradiddle. So if you just say it, paradiddle, paradiddle, you're scatting. Paradiddle, 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 right? How about Rademacue? Rademacue, 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 Rademacue. Rada McHugh, Rada McHugh, Rada McHugh, Rada McHugh, Rada McHugh. Uh, and then flam tap, one of my favorites. Uh, we'll do some 16th notes. Flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap. Flam tap, flam tap. Flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap. Flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap. Flam tap, flam tap. All right, so there's a couple examples of rudiments. Okay, let's look at some other widely used syllables uh, that can be used in your efforts to get your groove down here. Danny's article mentions uh, a couple that uh, Sarah Vaughn uses. One is shadu uh, dindu that she uses when she does the and four and one two three and four and one two three shadu dindu two three shadu do do two three. All right, another good one that she uses. Um, she does that like a one, two, three, and four triplet, one, two, and. A four triplet, one, two, and. Shadidia dit do wa. Shadidia dit do wa. Notice the, uh, the last note is a little longer. Um, find your syllables that will make long and short notes possible for you. Um, for eighth notes, you could use something like do da, do da, do da, uh, the, the, the da. A long, longer A, and uh, as a buddy of mine just says, if you're going to play a long note, just keep singing. So uh, just stretch that out. Do da, do da, do da. Right, you get a nice long note. Uh, for short notes, you can use a, a, like a bop, a beep, a ski, um, uh, and then. Uh, so let's let's look at a couple of those. So um, once we've got some syllables together, we got to uh, figure out how to work them into our our playing. Uh, I suggest a couple simple patterns. Um, and working out some phrases with your hands. So if you start by scatting a ride pattern, let's uh, take it over here. All right, we're going to go 1, 55, 55, 55. So you probably know some shaping exercises you can put on the bottom of that. So for 1, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55. 55. Right, some simple stuff like that, and then move it over here. Your 55, and try to uh, sing the shape in the left hand parts. Scatting. Do ba 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 do do ba do do ba do do ba do 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 ba 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 Okay, now let's uh, uh, sort out a couple syllables for some triplets. Um, old school, triplet, 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 works for me. Uh, how about dubada? Do 
ba da do ba da do ba da do. One of my favorites, Zagada. Zagada, 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 Zagada. And we'll put a flam on that. Uh, flagada, 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 Flagada. All right, so there's a pattern that I've got uh, that I want to show you. It's called Lost at Home. Uh, it's a, basically a Swiss triplet exercise that moves through the triplet. Uh, all right, so what will happen is you'll displace the pattern every four beats. Uh, playing uh, the first two notes of the triplet to turn it around. So you do that three bars and then it turns around and ends up on the left hand. All right, so it's a six bar pattern all in all. Let me just play it for you, then I'll try to scat it. All right, here we go. So lost at home. One, two, three, four. Now scat it, huh? Flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga da flaga There it is. Here are a couple song examples with melodies that are displaced or carried over the bar line. Um, these have confused me enough that I've had to scat my way uh, through them endlessly to learn how they work. Uh, the first I'm looking at is Monk's Straight Note Chaser. Um, so we're going to just sort of see if I can sing this a little bit. A one, two, three, four. Ba da ba do ba, ba da ba do ba da ba. Ba da ba do ba, ba da ba do ba, ba da da da. Ba da ba da ba do ba, three, four. Ba da ba do ba, ba da ba do ba, ba da ba da ba da, ba da ba da ba da, ba da 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 da. All right, so that's a good one to to work on. See if you can get that down. Another one I've worked on is a uh, uh, fascinating rhythm. Um, but at this point in the video, I'd like to bring in uh, uh, an actual professional vocalist who does this uh, properly. Uh, Mr. Rick Gordon will be joining me, and let's look at Fascinating Rhythm. Okay, as mentioned, I'm in no way a vocalist uh, in, in, in my uh, craft, uh, so I brought in my friend Mr. Rick Gordon to help us today. Um, and first thing we'd like to do is uh, ask Rick, are there a couple of go-to syllables he uses for uh, eighth note patterns? What do, what do you use? Um, I probably tend to use... D, D's a lot and and N's or L's or a combination between the two for g more ghosted notes and B's for more accented notes. So, Nice, nice. Okay, so we talked a little bit earlier about triplets uh, when I did the lost at home pattern. Uh, so w when you get when you're presented with a full triplet, what are some syllables you use for that? Nice, real nice. Okay, uh, fascinating rhythm uh, is a one of those tunes we talked about that sort of goes across the bar a little bit. Um, how about if uh, Rick sings this? play through a couple verses, I'll keep some time, and uh, yeah, you can hear a real guy do it. So, uh, I'll count us off. One, two, a one, two. Good. 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 Sweet. Okay. Um, so there you have some examples. I think uh, Rick and I are going to uh, trade some trade two bar phrases uh, in four four. Okay. Two bars a piece. Um, yeah, no, something nice and simple. We're about there. Uh, let's see. Why don't you start? A one, two, three. Three, five, 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 Bop, 
Nice. Let's do some trading. We'll do some longer notes. Maybe okay. uh, same tempo, but just, yeah, let's see what you, uh, like you say, uh, just keep singing when you hit those okay. longer notes. So, so, so same tempo. Um, why don't you just take it, and uh, I'll just sort of fill in for you, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. One, two, a one, two. Sweet. So Rick and I would now like to do uh, uh, just trade uh, on a little three four piece for you. Check this out. One two three one two. We did live a better We live a better bumper for daily way way up. Papa do bed read a bumper for daily Papa for it up Papa yeah. Papa do bed a bumper for so Rick and I are going to uh, end with a, uh, a quick uh, run through of Straight No Chaser. Check it out. One, two, one, two, three. But I do it, 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 but I do it. Thanks for tuning in to this video. You can find this video and others at drummagazine.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pick up the magazine if you do have a chance. Thanks for watching.